as you can see, we're at the track. So I figure the car's on 93 right now. I just want to see how it's going to 60 foot. It's 9 in the morning already, like 87 degrees. And the wind's blowing the opposite way. So this definitely isn't a let's go fast day. It's just let's see how the new changes work. Like my note, needs water. But it's still the 285 upper pulley. So big upper pulley. Not a lot of boost. Can't see the size. But the fastest the car's gone on this pulley combination was 10.6 or 10.5. I think it was like 10.5, like 130, 130 something. I don't remember. I have to slip somewhere. We're just gonna see how it's 60 foots today. Well, like I said, it's on 93, so it's a straight pump meth. I have E85 with me. I'm just gonna try to see how it's 60 foots and go from there. Also, this tune is the tune that made uh, 601 horsepower on the dyno. So, we'll see what 600 horsepower does in a 3000 DA with a 4300 pound car. Just cooling it off a little bit. From Warmed it up. Got some heat in the engine. Just cooling off the header so I can get some plugs in. Got plenty of plugs for today, so this should be fun. It's spicy out. Well, I just made the first hit. I didn't set the camera up or anything because I was just gonna do like a 60 to 330 foot hit, but it felt good so I stayed in it just like so get the shift points. So I'll look over the log, get the time slip, and then uh, I'll set up the camera and actually record some runs then. But like I said, I'm not expecting anything crazy. The collar has gone 10-5 with this pulley, but it's about 100 degrees out already. Well, 90 degrees right now. It's 90 degrees right now at 10 in the morning. So I'm not expecting anything crazy. I just want to see how the car's 60 foot. It's hot out, but there you go. That's the first pass, so we'll see what we can do with this. Pass number two. Pass number two, this is on pump meth. We're making a whole, like 11, like 10 and a half, 11 pounds of boost because it's so hot out. Um, my IETs when I started the pass were 86. At the end of the pass, they were 121. So I picked up two, two miles prior to the eighth. 60 foot was the same. ET was about the same, but it's just so hot out back, it's not doing anything. And I'm not gonna throw a lot of timing at this, being essentially 100 degrees out and on 93 with some meth. But uh, this poly combo, the best it went before, and a negative DA was 10.6 at 130.6, and that was on E85 and meth. So doing a 10.9, on 93 meth in a positive 3000 DA, I'll take it. Yeah, so I'll take this DA and going 10.9 when in a negative DA, this poly combo on E85 with meth went 10.6, 10.5. So I'm happy. 
I'm, I'm mentally fighting myself like oh it's slow but I gotta remind, remind myself it's over 90 degrees and the DA is 2900-3000 right now It's hot out. Put E85 in and the car still didn't go faster, but that pass, our IIT was 118 before we even started. And you see zero mile per hour. This is a third gear. So IIT's hit 145, 147. Pulled all, started pulling timing, so. You see our boost is down right there. Yeah, it's a bit hot out. The DA is 4,000 worse than last time I was at the track. So last time it was a negative 1,000 DA. The car went 10.6. Today it's... I'll show you. There you go. That's the DA. So 4,000 worse DA. On pump meth, we went uh, 3 tenths slower. So pretty promising saying last time was negative thousand DA and uh, on E85 and meth and today pump meth and this air and weather went 10-9 you can see it got nice and cold see there's that pulley 285 we're gonna try and make another pass see how it does so I let the car cool down some check plugs went over the tune some and we got a 10-8 10-8-1 at 129 so I'm tripping away at it. I, I don't expect to go 10.5 or 10.6 today, but if I can be two tenths off, two to three tenths off in a 4,000 DA difference, I'll take it. But like I said on the dyno, I'm not, this isn't like a, let's see how fast I, how much power I can make. This is just, let's see what like simple changes can do. And like I said before, this isn't a, let's see how much power we can make. I'm on 11, 12 pounds of boost. This is what my wife daily drives on. So if anyone of you's had a LSA or like a PD blower car, you'll know when it gets hot, you lose boost. So I'm down like a pound and a half of boost from when it went uh, the 10.5 and 10.6. So we swapped to 2.75. Took the 2.85 off. 2.75, so hopefully that'll give us like another pound or two of boost. And then we can really compare like same boost just a little tuning difference and a lot hotter. See map sensor? That's the boost we made. You can see peak, peak RPM, the pass it was. I'm going to pull up the 10.5 or 10.6, whatever log I have from back in February when it was negative 1000 DA. Same poly combo, I'll show you the boost. This is from February, so 191 kPa. So it was up a little airflow, so I'm just trying to even the field out to compare same airflow, just tune difference and in the heat. Slower 60 foot that time, but we picked up two and a half mile per hour in the eighth. Outback, it's not as good, but I mean, it's hot, it's getting hotter. And then my supercharger wasn't as cold that time, but yeah, I mean, whatever. Well, we picked up a little bit of boost, but not much. This heat's just killing it. And it's not belt slip, because I see that in the chart. It's steady. It's just so hot outside. I don't know why I'm even running it out the quarter. It's, it's kind of stupid. I'm picking up like two mile per hour to the eighth every, about every pass now. But it's just so hot. It's not doing anything out back. That pass, I went 104 to the eighth and one. 
130 to the quarter. The past so far, I went 102 to the eighth and 129 to the quarter. So it's getting faster, but it's just so hot out. It's really hard to make a car do stuff when it's 95 degrees and over 3,000 DA. Maybe I'll come back with the same pulley and see what it does on a winter hero pass like 99% of people do on the internet. Oh, there you go. It went 10.5 and 10.6 in February with a little bit more boost, 45 degree air temps, and right now it's 107 with less boost. It just went 10.6, down a lot of mile per hour, but that's a given. But I don't really care about mile per hour. If I can go 9.9 at 139, I really don't care that I can also go 10.3 at 142. But that's good. Uh, the map sensor is 187 kpa so we're still down from before from february but like i said it's about 50 degrees warmer and 4000 da higher but i'm done for the day it's hot going home we got like 11 gallons of fuel and we're gonna weigh the car it's exactly how it was yesterday Except I have shorts on, not pants today. Let's see how it weighs. Well, apparently, actually losing weight helps. I lost like 30 pounds since I last weighed the car. But there you go, 4180, still heavy. I always say the best way to show what a car really makes for horsepower is what the mile per hour is in the quarter mile. So here's a calculation in a calculator I'll link below that takes your ET, your mile per hour, and your weight and gives you your estimated horsepower. And as you can see, it's pretty accurate from my car's weight, the mile per hour, the track, and what it made on the dyno. Thanks again for watching this video. If you haven't watched the video I posted before, let's go ahead and check that one out. I go through how power changes from timing on the same boost, just one degree of timing at a time. So to go over this again, this is 11 pounds of boost. So go ahead and watch that one if you haven't watched this one because that's the what leads up to this one. They're done the same week. I went to the Dino Monday and the track Thursday. And Thursday ended up being the hottest day of the week, of course. But go ahead and check that video out.